Okay, hello everybody, and I think we are broadcasting, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, my first book, My Happy Assets, because I realized it had been kind of falling by the wayside, and the whole point of this book was to serve as an instruction manual for financial independence. The other thing coming up is um, the fourth book, which is Warren Buffett Wants to Buy Your Small Business. This will be available at most major bookstores uh, beginning next year, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but let's just jump right into the PowerPoint that I have set up for us today. And we can talk about the instruction manual for financial independence. Let me just show more screenshots here. Okay, I think that's going to work for us. Let me just go ahead and switch to this, and then we'll bump it up. So my happy assets, the instruction manual for financial independence. So before we start again, here's Warren Buffett wants to buy your small business. Should be available in the spring of 2012. Uh, the other books are available at lulu.com. I'll give you those sites. But before we start, a lot of you have seen these cash flow pictures before, and this is what we're talking about. This is your income statement and your balance sheet, and we want to build assets, and this is where My Happy Assets, the book, comes into play. So we want to build up assets here in order to have enough passive cash flow to be financially independent. So I'll go into what goes into here. That's exactly what My Happy Assets details. Um, just run through the website real quick. This is My Happy Assets, the book. Uh, you can get this at through the blog myhappyassets.info, myhappyassets.com. Um, the second book was Small Biz Coffee. Uh, Lulu.com, that's where this is available as well, and, and Amazon.com. Um, my intention is to keep doing these every day around 4 p.m., so if, if it's worthwhile information, keep tuning back. Um, again, what we're shooting for is financial independence here, and that doesn't mean just to have gobs and gobs of money. That just gives you the freedom, so money isn't such a concern anymore. It gives you the freedom to go try some things or spend time with family. What the book covers includes goal setting which is very important if you're gonna be doing this because it's not easy but that helps you keep it in the forefront it covers a basic financial plan which is really the foundation of your financial independence you've, you've seen a ton of gurus out there on TV that prescribe that and some of it is actually good stuff so I go into how to build that foundation in the early chapters one of the first advanced strategies that you'll hit in up against is the difco strategy it sounds like difficult but it's not it just includes dividend paying stocks which we've all heard of those and covered call options covered call options is simply writing a, a contract against the stock which gives somebody else the right to buy the stock if it's above a certain price it's it's not that complicated any online broker can can help you do that and it's it's pretty straightforward if you're already in single stocks or ETFs uh, you already have the majority of the risk. The one thing covered calls can do is cap off the top of the stock if it's rapidly increasing, but it allows you to treat it like a duplex without the tenants or the clogged toilet. So you can deliver that cash flow in monthly without having to worry about all those things that come with the rental. One of the main things that My Happy Assets goes into is, is dividend payers, because you've seen in the Rich Dad Poor Dad world, he doesn't really go into dividend stocks and probably one of the reasons is because yields aren't uh, aren't outstanding. I mean you, you, you probably can get six to seven percent on the high end out of stocks but but it's still something that needs to be covered is because it's something that can be in your asset column. So I'll talk about long term single stocks which can include Warren Buffett type stocks like Coca Cola that delivered dividend. I cover royalty um, uh, reinvestment trusts or REITs, um, what those are, that gets you a little bit into real estate because they invest in these property management companies or property companies and they typically d deliver a dividend. And don't be too misled by that. It doesn't mean that you're in property per se. Those, those REITs are still somewhat correlated to the stock market, so they'll go up and down with that. ETFs are exchange traded funds that, that trade like a uh, they they're a basket of stocks and they trade more like a single stock so your fees are a lot lower uh, but dollar cost averaging is, is tougher uh, and royalty trusts are typically this wrapper of assets that um, a lot of what, what you hear about is Canadian oil trusts 
So it's it's a it's a more of an energy type company that's wrapped in this royalty trust. It usually delivers a high yield. The only thing you need to watch out for on that is uh, return of uh, of capital or principal and not actual uh, dividend cash flow. So it could start cutting into your your actual investment if you get the wrong one. Another thing, and, and you can see at the top where the, this book is available at Lulu.com or at MyHappyAssets.com, but also compare real estate versus stock investing because those always come up. There's this big uh, world. There's these, these two sides out there that I've seen in the in the financial investment arena. You've got people that say leverage the heck out of real estate, and you have people that say um, get rid of all your debt and invest in mutual funds. So. You're always asking, well, well, which one's right? Maybe there's not just a black and white right or wrong uh, side to this this whole equation, but um, but there are there there are lessons out there. There's facts about each type of investment that you need to be aware of, and that's what I go into here, comparing them. This is really from a, a, a real estate investor's perspective. It's skewed that way, so. But you can read between the lines and, and decide for yourself that uh, rental delivers cash flow versus typically, you know, mutual fund is just capital gains. You have control over this physical asset, which physical assets over here. You have appreciation in, in the uh, rental in addition to cash flow. You have leverage through using the bank's money. Um, you get tax advantages through depreciation, which might not necessarily be real physical depreciation, it's an accounting depreciation which gives you a tax break. You can refinance the property and take money out cash free. Um, you can protect the asset through an LLC or uh, and insurance. Uh, you can delay the capital gains and taxes by rolling it forward in a 1031 exchange. And, and that appreciation can serve as a hedge against inflation so generally you know, property is going to go up by 4 to 6 percent. The last things that I kind of cover in my happy assets are web income, option trading, and small business. But really, um, if you want to learn about small business, then what I recommend is my second book, Small Business Coffee Hour, which is out on uh, smallbizcoffee.com or again at lulu.com. Just just search at Lulu for, for these books. But this really goes into the detail of how to build more of a business system and a framework starting from the top of the strategic pyramid with a mission statement, vision, and goals, and then into strategies and tactics and how to build that. Nothing is, nothing is pie in the sky with business, but you can definitely stand to have that framework in place, and that's what this goes into detail about. So just returning to our, our slides here, maybe. Um, my happy asset still kind of goes into that. And again, the whole reason why we're here, or... or the whole reason why we're dealing with this is is to create, to build this asset column. So that's why I say my happy assets is an instruction manual to do that. Cause it really goes in the nuts and bolts of what belongs here in this asset column, as as detailed by Robert Kiyosaki. And so what that leads to is enough cash flow, where I mean, unless you're dead, money is always going to be a concern. But uh, once you reach this. <clears throat> then it's it's not necessarily something that's holding you back uh, from from going and doing things that you want to. In a perfect world, you should be um, you should be <laughs> working a job that you're passionate about anyway. But uh, you know you don't you don't always get that opportunity. So um, taking care of the money issue first allows you to uh, will allow you to uh, to have more freedom. And uh, it's not about I always say it's not about necessarily rolling around in a big vault of gold coins like Scrooge McDuck. It, it gives you the freedom to uh, spend more time with family, to give more money away, to uh, indulge in a hobby, or maybe kick a hobby up to a small business. So, uh, kind of wrapping up here. Here's the websites again. Uh, let's see if I can enlarge those. But myhappyassets.info and .com. Uh, and smallbiz.com or smallbiz coffee and Lulu is where you can get it. And I think I've got the book at, on uh, Amazon as a, as a Kindle version. I'll try to get everything out there actually. I'm going to keep doing this, so just keep tuning back if you find it uh, useful. And again, um, this book is coming out, um, should be early spring of next year, so I'm going to go ahead and start promoting it in this 
this basically teaches you, um, you know, Warren Buffett, bottom, bottom line, he got it right. I mean, he knows uh, what business to, to invest in. Now, he has tripped up sometimes in the past, but overall, he's been able to identify just great businesses. So, what I'm saying with this book is you can apply those principles into a small business. I'm going to go through them in detail what exactly those are, and in the process, I'm going to say, now, here's how you you transform your business into this. You don't have to be the next Coke. I don't think, you know, I'm not saying go build Coke as your small business, but, but you can be Coke-like. So that's what this is about, and be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you have any questions, if you go to one of my websites, if you go to myhappyassets.com, there's a contact us form. You can email me questions there. I can send you more information or material. Um, but please check that out. I, I think uh, I think all the books are worthwhile. And um, uh, again, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by today. And uh, this is the first book that we just covered the the instruction manual for financial independence. Uh, second book all about small business and making a, a framework for your business that works.